Here's a uh, travel uh, kind of little factoid you might appreciate. It may not seem like much to you or me, but one of the biggest money makers in the city of Chicago these days is not the Sears Tower or whatever it is they call it now. It's not the Navy Pier. It's not even Wrigley Field. It's an unassuming remote video camera stationed across the street from a car wash on Lawrence Avenue. There are about, I think, 119, 120 speed cameras set up across Chicago. And that that's one of those cities where if you drive past it, they will send you a ticket. They don't need a police officer mm-hmm. to send you a speeding ticket. For years, it would send you one if you were caught doing more than 10 miles an hour over the posted speed limit on Lawrence, which is 25 miles an hour. Well, mm-hmm. back in March of this year, the mayor of Chicago, Lori Lightfoot, dropped the threshold for speeding tickets to six. Mm. Ooh, six. And Lord, the money started rolling in. Oh, I bet it did. Rolling in. The first two months of operation, the Lawrence Avenue camera alone caught 12,300 speeders. Well, of course it did. <laughs> six miles an hour. Six. What is the speed? Do you know the speed limit on the street? At it's 25. 25. You said that. I did. Yeah. I missed it. All right, so people are going 31 but, or 32. Yeah. Uh, what? Well, you know, it really depends on what kind of street. Is there a lot of kids around there? Is there a lot of pedestrian traffic? I don't know. That part of Chicago, I certainly don't know. Um, uh, but 25 uh, is really usually residential. That's usually a neighborhood. But there is a car wash yeah. across the street. Right. So it's zoned for commercial because you've got a car wash there. A mix, I would say. I don't know. 25 is pretty slow. Is that fair? So you have 30. 25 is awfully slow. Yeah, it's really slow. The thir- yeah, but 31 is a good high percentage over 25. You know, it's not like 61 mm-hmm. and a 55. It's different. Yeah, percentage-wise it is. It's high. different to go yeah. 31 or 32 and a 25. Now, I I would be caught. I, I, you know I would do it. Yes. That's why they got so much money in the bank now. Yeah, yeah. I would definitely the, do it. Uh, apparently, there, the, there's a $1.2 billion budget deficit, and the mayor decided to lower the, the, uh, the threshold on all the speeding cameras mm-hmm. to six miles an hour. Boy, she's no dummy, is she? She knows, <laughs> she knows how to make some money. So if every driver pays the fine, um, the, the the tickets range from if it's you're, if you're six miles an hour over the limit, mm-hmm. that's a thirty five dollar ticket. If you're ten or more, it's a one hundred dollar ticket. <laughs> so that we're looking at potential, you know, eleven million dollars worth of revenue. And that's legal to do that. I suppose it is. I don't. I don't know if legal scholars have, have mm. taken apart the speeding ticket camera. I have always supported those. Yeah, most you have, and yet you would be the first to bitch and get mm-hmm. caught <laughs> multiple times. Why am I being penalized, penished oh, oh, oh. for driving? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, all right, yes. My daddy told me I could drive every <laughs> speed limit. <laughs> this is supposed to be America. Uh, okay, but but I have a piece of ass car. <laughs> but, okay, but, I have no idea how fast I'm going. Uh, well, all right, all true, but I have always supported those red light cameras and those speeding cameras. Because I feel like that police need those tools to do their job. We, as consumers, can buy a radar detector and know when radar is out there. If it's posted that it's there, which I guess it is, right? They know about it? I assume usually these places do say speed cameras in effect. Even if it's not a a city website. I bet there's a website in Chicago that sits there and says, these are the places that there's cameras that you'll get caught for speeding. And I'll bet you it's posted on some sign there, probably. I think by law it probably has to be. That, that seems fair to me. Mm-hmm. Now, Chris Dim's right. I would break that rule, and I would You'd like be first. I'd be, and I would and like to get a ticket. And it's possible that I would loudly do that. We have Lisa Lanier on our official attorney just to weigh in on the legality of this. We just called her out of the blue on it. Hey, Lisa, how you doing? I'm fantastic. I hope you guys are. Well, doing very well. I'm just wondering the legality. Uh, Chicago has one of those cameras, well, many of them, that catch speeders, and the mayor has reduced the threshold level. It used to be you'd get a fine if you are going 10 miles an hour over the speed limit. Now it's six, and they're raising a ton of money. And clearly the reason they're doing this is because they have a budget shortfall, so they need this money. What is the legality of doing something like that? Does there have to be a sign up saying it's recording you? How does it work? Well, you know, when uh, when these traffic cameras first became a thing some years ago, there was a lot of litigation over it, and uh, it's pretty much been upheld that tr- that driving is something that can be regulated. Uh, the Supreme Court said, you know, it's public activity on public roads. There's no expectation of privacy, so these cameras can catch you. And and you know, it's basically if you're speeding, technically, if you're even you know a mile or two over the speed limit. By the letter of the law, you're speeding. Mm-hmm. And so these municipalities can decide where they want to set that threshold. 
you know, generally, you know, officers won't pull you if you're going five or six miles over, but that's, that's really just their own, Mm -hmm. their own sort of private policy. That's not an official policy. Right. And technically, and there are some instances like where they're trying to, uh, they're looking for a particular suspect or they are trying to catch drunk drivers or just cracking down. Like in this case, there are situations where they will change that just willy nilly. You know, the officers will say, "Hey, well, anybody's going five miles over, let's stop them." Right. You know, and just see, see what we see. So there's no, you know, we don't have some bright line protection. And so where you know Chicago is getting a lot of press about this because they've raised such a crazy amount of money by doing this. I mean, it's what was it like a a million dollars in four months or something? Mm-hmm. But something really crazy. Mm-hmm. I remember seeing a headline about it, but. Yeah, they can do it. They can absolutely do it. That's what I thought. Would the DJs of Chicago be able to change <laughs> the enforcement <laughs> if they bitched and moaned loudly <laughs> enough on the air? I, 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 I am. It's interesting how I come at this, Lisa. I, I would bitch and moan if I got a ticket, but I've always supported the right for them to. I thought it was legal. And let me ask you this question. I think radar detectors for drivers should be illegal. I don't understand how an instrument designed to let you break the law, and really that's its only designation, can be legal. Well, and that again, you know, some states prohibit them, Mm -hmm. and uh, some don't, and it's really just up to the state, and they're perfectly allowed to prohibit them, because again, you don't, like you're saying, you don't have a right to have a device that helps you break the law. Right. And so it's it's just a state-by-state thing. The one good thing that the Chicago uh, authorities did is they lowered the fine. So if you're going a lower speed over i think it's like 35 dollars instead of a hundred dollars right. if you go 10 over it's a hundred dollars correct they but gave... you do catch a tiny bit of a break yeah they do see to me it's like uh those radar detectors kind of like rolling papers because i mean <laughs> most people who buy rolling papers yeah, related to something <laughs> in your life <laughs> both in your back pocket <laughs> you know Trolling papers are going to be used by most to smoke marijuana. Both are in your car. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to smoke marijuana cigarettes. Probable cause. <laughs> okay. But uh, some you can claim, oh, I'm going to use it for a cigarette, a clove cigarette. Yeah, Dad told me how to yeah. roll my own cigarettes. Right, exactly. Whereas a radar detector, I guess you could say what you're trying to figure out if... Uh, I, what can people say with a radar detector? You say something. Like, uh, I can figure out... I mean, it was used for something, I think, where you could say... But really, it's it's... It's only to find out if a police officer is in front of you. That's yeah. really the only reason. Well, you know, and, uh, and apps, like driving apps, like Waze. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of Waze. Me too. And we all tell each other, you know, all the Wazers, we all tell each other where the cops are. And there have been several municipalities where the law enforcement uh, agencies have written to Waze with these cease and desist letters saying that they were going to sue them. And uh, they're not going to they're not going to prevail at that because there's nothing to prohibit people from you can you can say you can't have a radar detector, mm-hmm. but you can't say you cannot communicate with each other about where the cops are. Right, because that would really be like like old CB radios even would be like a right. a trucker mm-hmm. would say, "Watch out for a Smokey." Mm-hmm. Yeah, out here on I don't know I ninety five. All right, Lisa, that's my li- I I'm not really into truckers, but uh, <laughs> that's my lingo for it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> terrific, terrific report as always. We appreciate you weighing in on that, Lisa. Chicago can do it. Thanks for being on with us today. Absolutely. Have a great week. You too. Bye. Now, my extent of knowing what truckers say is from old movies. Smoking know, the bandit. Yeah. Smoking the bandit. What do you say? This is, keep your wheels spinning. Keep your beavers grinning. Oh, God. <laughs> and the occasional... Weather Dave. I never <laughs> uh, first. I didn't know that one. <laughs> keep your wheels spinning. That's what I say. Keep your beavers gritted. <laughs> Pulling to a truck stop. <laughs> yeah. Piling. <laughs> that sounds like something you might that you might hear over a CB radio. Mm-hmm. All right. They can do it. That's mm-hmm. it. It's mm-hmm. been it's been adjudicated.